for this uh, set of results, uh, basically it's a very good um, print. Two points I want to mention uh, regarding that results. Uh, one is that actually May 20 and Ping proved it is, uh, itself to be the most resilient player across almost every business lines among platform tech companies amid the pandemic. Um, let's say for uh, its food delivery business, which is the uh, major business of the platform, management noted that uh, the order number has already recovered to last year's level several days ago. Hopefully, the second quarter will have uh, positive growth despite the pandemic. A couple with the a reduced incentive, partly, uh, which is partly um, country revenue. So we can see a double digit growth for its top line growth and 20% something for OP growth. And for its uh, in-store business line, actually it's the second largest um, lines that contribute to the top line. Um, the most, the mostly, uh, uh, also the mostly hit one during pandemic um, as people reduce the offline uh, activity uh, very heavily. Uh, still, its revenue nearly declined over 20% and its margins steady at over 40%. And lastly, for its new initiatives, um, majorly those last making stuff like Matrix Select, Insta Shopping, Grocery, etc. Actually, all of them are experiencing an improvement in terms of UE and still growing decently in both Q and Q and year and year terms. And secondly, the company also guided a break even in terms of EBITDA margin level, which implies an, a very good improvement in terms of food delivery and the narrow loss for new initiatives. So now, basically uh, it's a very strong result. Yeah, now I have to ask you, you sound uh, pretty positive about uh, the, the, the second uh, quarter, uh, right? Yes. How can that be when, yes. you know, we were saying, uh, telling the viewers that uh, Meituan itself warned that deliveries plunged 90% in uh, Shanghai because of uh, lockdown. Obviously, this is uh, pre, pre the opening up. Yeah, indeed. That's also the point that surprised us, surprised all the street. Uh, first of all, uh, obviously, uh, in terms of the uh, delivery business, Shanghai and also uh, Shenzhen and Beijing um, all combined together contributed less than 20% of its all business because uh, it's a very uh, a fully distributed over uh, all mainland China. And uh, secondly, uh, uh, you know, in terms of the order volume, they say it has a very quick, very fast recovery since mid-May. And, um, uh, and uh, just a couple of days ago uh, in like um, uh, June the 1st, the order number actually already returned uh, to, to uh, the pre-pandemic level. So that also shown, displayed the resilience of the uh, local life service giants. Uh, so that's also uh, the point that surprised all the streets.